Scarecrow Festival is like the most important day of the year. Daft cow. This is just ridiculous. What the actual fuck? Yeah. Uh, who should be the next James Bond? Slugs would be pretty good. Oh, that would be oh, amazing. He would be brilliant. Would, be amazing. Uh, would you pose nude for charity? Absolutely not. No? No. Okay. Pickled onion or pickled egg in a bag of crisps? Uh, pickled egg. Button your shirt from top to bottom or bottom to top? T top to bottom. And who's your Doctor Who? Slugs. <laughs> I like your previous, previous Doctor Who. No, just say slugs. Just slugs. say slugs is everything. Slugs for I president. I love slugs. Ah, oh, there you is go. Is he still watching? Uh, I believe so. I lovely. believe so. Aww. He's logged off. So, um, talking of slugs being cast, how much of a say did you get to get these people into the show, the first series? Was um, it quite easy to get, like, Michael in and Well, yeah, I mean, and... I mean, we had Simon, producer, which is on such the same page with so many things, we've got the same humour and we have the same instincts with stuff. So when we wrote the character, I think we, we got slugs in for a an audition just to put him on tape because we always found him funny and we always thought oh, he'd be so good in the show because he was sort of a legend anyway yeah. and everyone knew about him and he was brilliant so funny sent it so to Simon funny. I think Simon immediately was like yeah we've got to get him in so it wasn't no it wasn't hard I mean, it was great casting because we just wrote it about slugs anyway so mm. he's just playing himself mm. Mm. <laughs> he'll be upset no? he'll be upset about no he, he brings so much to the table he's brilliant but... he is and the same brilliant. with dad as well it's sort of we put them on tape. We always loved the idea of our dad playing Kerry's real dad, but it never was going to be a character that wasn't meant to be like a main sort of character. It was always like a going to be a small thing, but then that sort of developed. And and then, yeah, we got him on tape, and Simon was like, yeah, great. So, yeah, it was quite nice to have that. And was he quite happy to do all the peeping stuff, you know, about being a peeper yeah. and working with Fred West? <laughs> and, <laughs> you know. It's weird writing those sort of lines for your for old dad. dad. But... Why do we do that? That's a bit mental. It's a bit Oedipus, know. isn't it? Yeah. Because, again, is that the sort of thing that could come... Does he have people coming up to him going, you dirty peeper, and... No, he has no one. He's no really one. upset about it. Is he? So <laughs> yeah, anybody, one person. Yeah. No. One person, where was it? In Waitrose and Newbury. Yeah. We wouldn't stop banging on about it. Yeah. <laughs> on and on and on. No, oh. I, people don't... Because when I'm with him, well, with him and people stop me, they don't, for some reason... Right, clock him. They'll just go, sorry, could you take a picture yeah. of us? And really? And the camera, he's Mate, really upset. Like a generic bald man. But then again, I mean, <laughs> you also, you wouldn't think that he's never acted before. Yeah, great, When you yeah, watch what he does. Well, Dad was, many years ago, did, like, he did, he did a stand-up, didn't he? Think, yeah. And he won a competition that was judged by, like, Paul Merton and Julian Clary. So there's always been that performer. Well, both, right. yeah, in, in Slegs as well, it's like, they naturally have that, you know, I don't know, that charisma, isn't yeah. it? So it was quite easy for Easy for them, and it, of course, the format of the show is works for people who haven't had any acting experience because it's all just be as normal as you can, and yeah, that sort of helped me. Really. Yeah. So in in series one, then how much stuff was left on the cutting room floor? Because I know you said you, every idea that you had was in series one. Was there a lot that was cut out? Or? I mean, I think there we, was. what of series one? Series one, no. Of the edit or from scripts? Well, for, both really. Because from scripts, there, there was like two, three scripts that were like full scripts that we just ended up chucking out, didn't we? One, which one is a shame because one feral pig, and that could have been brilliant. <laughs> but we thought, God, where do we cast a pig that can act? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. But when it actually came, I think in the edit. So after we filmed everything, I don't think there was anything... Because they were meant to be very short episodes. And then I think... I think they were, they were commissioned to be only 15 minutes long. And then we ended up shooting so much that they sort of grew to about, you know, 22, 22 23. Minutes, yeah. But the, the problem is with the second series is that we went completely... We overwrote so much and then overshot loads. So there's loads of great stuff that wasn't able to go in, yeah. unfortunately. But... Hopefully, we'll see the light of day via social media in other forms. Right, and do yeah. you get a say in that, or is that sort of what the what the BBC decide will go on in regards to like social media deleted well, scenes and stuff um, like that? Yeah, well, I think we're quite. I, I, Simon uh, is quite hands on with what um, with what content they. So I think we give stuff and they package it and 
um, put stuff on Facebook and Twitter, but yeah, I think we've got quite a lot of control over that, yeah. which is good because. So if there's anything that we didn't talk yeah, they shit, can. they wouldn't put it up, but yeah. that's really good. But we're all sort of on the same page with what deleted scenes we liked. I think they didn't, they send us like five deleted scenes. Oh, that doesn't matter. Because you, you've seen the, like, the Facebook so guy. Yeah. I saw like, you said... completely drift off. Which was obsessive. Well, I'm boring. <laughs> That's you, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of the next question, you see, because oh, we don't I write see. our questions down. No. So oh, it might right. look like I'm done days and off. <laughs> I was going to say, we saw some Facebook, you've done the Facebook little shorts, the Zuckerberg one, you know, with the Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen yeah. tunnel. Mm. Where did that come from then? That was just, we. I, I guess with every BBC, BBC free show, there has to, a comedy show you get commissioned to do sort of extra little bits that would sort of be on like a DVDs extra. Mm. So we, so when it came to us writing these, it was like, okay, let's do them in the format of those early Kerry videos where it's just a mobile phone yeah. Yeah. and it's them in their bedroom or something. So I think, yeah, we had a day, we, I mean, we wrote them quite quickly and then did a day shooting them. But we didn't really, we weren't really happy with any, well, we didn't think they'd be, I mean, some of them got loads yeah. of views in the end, but... but happy Birthday got, like, 20 million, I think, views. Which crazy. Is wow. but... but we just didn't... That was... We were really struggling with ideas on the day, weren't we? And we just thought, oh, we'll just see if this... We'll just yeah. put it out there. Because it's it so works, hard then... to make a clip funny, like, when it's, you know, so a it's minute long. A sh- with no context. With it's no like, context. fuck, like, how, what do we do? And this was just when the show came out, so there's so many people who hadn't seen it, and they were, you know, watching these videos thinking, what the fuck is this? Well, that's yeah. where there's the great comments on that um, Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen one with the tunnel. Yeah. People say, really? They're having this idea? What idiots? <laughs> yeah. And I just thinking, this is funny to read those as it is to watch the clip. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so, again, was that hard to write the comic relief sketch then? Because, again, that sort of... Has to be yeah. a one off thing that stands on, on its so, own. Yeah, that was it's so really hard. hard. That was I thought hardest... we struggled with re- a lot. And I suppose it was we had no time to to do it. And I think well, I think we literally had half an afternoon, didn't we? To write at the yeah, BBC. To, well, yeah, we had no time. There wasn't much money, so we were very restricted of where we could do it, with what characters. And again, yeah, it's, we sort of approached it that we do sort of like a very mini episode. But, but I, I mean, given, given more time, given more time I'd like to afford it. Yeah. So, what was that experience like when you got the call or the email to say, "Would you do? Would you be involved in Comet Relief?" Because I can imagine it amazing. was like, "Oh my god, that's amazing!" Yeah. Then it's then it's fuck. fuck what we've got yeah. like hundred percent three days to come up with something. And it's trying to be original, like original, and you know, I remember the first ideas we had were just like everything we've already seen yeah. in Comet Relief. I mean, it's really difficult because you've got like James Corden has absolutely nailed it on yeah. the head with. You know the, the stuff George Michael thing, the George Michael, did, and yeah. them all sat round. Who's gonna? Who are they gonna send out to Africa and do the so video? Good, and yeah. that was such a great angle. And that, so it's difficult to find mm. an angle on it that that works. So just make yeah. Slugs drink the uh, juice <laughs> and, the, the and punch him he in the stomach. He was stuff. actually yeah. sick. It was so funny because <laughs> oh, he left God. his mic on, and we could hear him. Well, he had, we had to obviously do so many takes of that. Yeah, and he ended up drinking about. You know, probably a dangerous amount of squash <laughs> <laughs> until you could internally drown. <laughs> and, he, and then he had to run to the toilet to be sick. Yeah, he left his microphone on and then we were all just listening to him throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame it should have made it in the uh, comment relief. So you're not the only one, pal. Yeah, no, no. I've done, I've done that. I went and had a wee when I uh, had, a, had a thingy mic and yeah. a lanyard mic on. Yeah, yeah. you got to be careful what you do when you got that yeah. on. I was just glad I wasn't slagging Neil off at the time. Oh, right? God, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not <laughs> <You say, laughs> with him anymore. <laughs> you say a wee. <laughs> yeah. Was it a wee? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember now. All they say is more than three shakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going red now? I don't know. It's hard to see. <laughs> let's, not, let's not talk about it anymore. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, on, um, so when you're filming... Um, uh, in North Leach, isn't it? Uh, yes. The majority of it. When you first did it, obviously people weren't aware of what it was. When you were doing it for the second series, did you get a lot of people coming, trying to come down and see you film? Um, we not as much. You, I mean, it was lovely because people in the village would kind of stop and talk and say, "Oh, you know, you filmed in our house last, you know, last series." Or yeah, it, was it wasn't that bad. Like we that. had one. We, I remember one of the first days we were filming. Some guy walking a dog, quite a posh guy. Goes, uh, oh god! Oh, actually, there was two people. Yeah. God, you're not filming that g- ghastly show or something like yeah, that. It was yeah. quite upsetting. 
Most times. I mean, a bit, everybody was so mm. nice. Generally, yeah. Generally, everyone was nice. Yeah, but we didn't have yeah problems with people watching, really. And what about like where you filmed for Kerry's house? Do the people that live there then have to move out for a few weeks, or do they stay there? Or? I don't know where they go. Oh, I, I think they get I have no idea put up somewhere, going. maybe. But they're love. They're really nice so and so lovely. you know supportive and um, you know um, accommodating. Accommodating. But what's great is that they were telling when well, last time we were there, since the first series has come out, they've been saying. How, Every t- now and then they'll look out the window and they'll see a car pull up, a couple of people get out and they'll pose in front of the oh, house so and then get back in their car and drive away. Oh, that be us. We, we, oh, did, right. we did that on the Monday that you did the preview. We oh. went and filmed for our Patreon. We're doing some little free video. Well, not free. You've got to, be, you've got to subscribe. But um, just uh, we did one at Kerry's house, didn't we? And yeah. it's really strange because it's just a normal house. Yeah. But... When you've seen this, you know, and you love the show so much, and you think, "Oh my god, it's like the Amityville house, or oh, it's like wow. the Psycho house." Oh, all of a sudden, yeah. but it is, but it's sort of like it's, it's quite iconic, iconic. Isn't it? yeah. yeah, because it's this weird house on this like hill, mm. that, that, and it overlooks uh, the village. It's brilliant. It's really, really strange yeah. to see it in that context. Yeah, it's, How I, funny! I, I yeah. Do you imagine it totally differently? It was weird because Neil did a little bit to camera, didn't you? And then we yeah. swung it around. But it, I can remember when we drove up to it, you, it was a same, I'll tell you what it equated to, and this is going to sound really cheesy, at the old Wembley, when you used to drive to the old <laughs> Wembley, you'd get, catch a glimpse of the Twin Towers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah the, to the two, really? And you think, oh, my, oh god. my God, there it is. And that's what I thought, <laughs> oh, oh my funny. God, there it is. It's just a house. Well, in, yeah. you know, it's, it's funny because we had um, uh, Deb and Emma, who the, run the This Country fan club on Instagram and Twitter, so subscribe to that or whatever. Absolutely, you, you should follow them. Um, they they came to watch filming for a day, and they said that the kitchen they completely imagine the kitchen completely different, and that's right. just because you, you film inside the house as well. Then yeah, yeah. we do. That's we not film a set on or anything, location. Is it? Right. No, yeah. So but we, I remember when we did when we were writing the first series, and we didn't just before we had a location in mind. And uh, I think Simon was like, it'd be good to go around the villages and the Cotswolds and pick one where we're going to film it. So we could start like picturing all where this stuff is going to happen, and we went to different places. We went to North Leach, we went to Stowe, we went to Bybury. Yeah. Where else did we go? Like Morton on the Marsh or somewhere. But I think North Leach just stuck out as sort of perfect. And I remember we just drove, we was driving around, and we went up the hill, and it, I think we all saw it at the same yeah. time. Like God, that's just perfect. Yeah, such mm. a perfect house. And we did so many sort of talking heads there, where behind you can see the village, and it's just great. But yeah, we wanted to film in a village that had everything already, so we didn't have to go to other places, and because of course that would cost more money anyway. So it was perfect. Yeah. So again, how does that feel for you that in a few years' time they could be having like this country tours around oh, North Leach? Do you know what I mean? It could, it could be a whole, a whole new way yeah, for them bloody, to make money. Be a bloody shit tour, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not because it's it, they are icon. I mean, again, we 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 walk down the hill. And there's Mandy's house. Oh, so there's big lovely. Mandy's house. Mm. And we we went round to where the sign is, the no board games. You know where Mandy's oh, led yeah, the sign yeah. And all oh of a sudden, God. this Welsh guy, guy came round out. Hey, what, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Yeah. Oh, he was in the show. I was in the, show. Really? the, the house that you, that was being built, apparently, oh, for yeah. Series oh, 2. Really? Yeah, we can't yeah. say that. Oh, my God. The, the owner came out, and we had yeah. a massive chat with him oh, all about funny. it. And it, it was so good, because you know oh, that people there... That's great. It's lovely that they've got that attitude towards yeah, it, rather yeah. than, oh, bloody hell. Oh, no, that's lovely. That's so sweet. Good. The only people who hate it are the posh ones, but fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> fuck them. In, it's only because they don't realise. Well, they, they don't. They've got no sense of humour. They don't. Yeah. And the other question I wanted to ask was, why Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen? Because he is our local celebrity. He is. Right. And we'd always see him in Siren Sister. And have you ever have you met him? Have you met yes. him? You yeah, have met him. Only since yeah. the series came out. But yeah, we'd just follow him around town. But it was, such, it was always such a big occasion seeing Lawrence Llewellyn, yeah. Llewellyn Bowen walking down the high street be like, oh my god or Dom Jolly yeah or Dom, yeah. Yeah, yeah Dom Jolly before I think it was well, it was always going to be Lawrence but I'm sure we had like back in our mind it could have been Dom Jolly but no that's what we wanted to do uh, <laughs> they see Dom Jolly at a boot sale <laughs> and yeah. they do you know like... they think that he's going to do a trigger happy TV and he's not it's just a very boringly <laughs> yeah. looking through a table of old vinyls but yeah we didn't, we didn't do that, really. But yeah, and, I mean, and now it's you guys, of course. Oh. You've replaced somebody. Will be right in this. The... <laughs> Never oh, be as famous imagine? as him. But... I don't. I, oh, I, I loved the little story that my uh, that my daughter. I think Charlie, you were in Tesco's 
And oh, yeah. um, my daughter came up and said, oh, I'm a massive fan, I'm a massive fan. And you, you were very gracious. And then she said, uh, I'm Pavo's daughter. And you went, oh, I love Pavo. <laughs> yeah. oh, that, that really made my heart yeah. sore. Oh. That was so sweet. I thought, oh, she's, she's even like dropping my name <laughs> to make us oh, oh, that's so oh, sweet. But you're celebrities as well. Yeah, well, yeah, but yeah. I mean, you know. Only in our houses, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. In our houses, yeah. So is, is, that, is that getting easier, being recognised? and Or is that still very, very strange? Yeah, because you is switch strange. off and then you don't... Because you totally forget. I mean, I was like in Boots the other day and I was having a conversation about, you know, my dumps or whatever to Will. And then somebody <laughs> oh. will come up and say, oh, can I have a picture? You know, I'm looking for, you know, Sunnicott or whatever it is. And then somebody comes over and says, oh, can I have a picture? And you think, fuck, how much of that conversation have you been listening to? Which is bizarre. Yeah, you You'll be in that it. heat spotted, you know, bits where oh, we yeah. saw we overheard Daisy talking about dumb um, piles. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, th- I suppose the thing about a fame, which, I mean, with, on our level, is this, that people know who you are and know your name and you don't know who they are. And mm. that's, the, that's the bottom line of it. That is all it is. Mm. Do you remember your first autograph then that you had to sign? I don't, nobody asks for autographs, really. You no, ask yeah. for selfies all the time. Is that what it is now? I'm too old school, aren't yeah. I? <laughs> yeah. Come on, Grandad. Yeah. <laughs> you, Grandad. Yeah, I I'm don't know. It's... Costa was mine. But people generally, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're, they're nice about the show, so it's, oh, you know, it's, it's so nice to hear, because mm. that's what you do it for, you know, people to feel like they're part of it and say how much, you know, what bits they enjoy. It's amazing. It is great. 